Hey, folks. Uh, just edited a point out there. Moving on. But, yeah, Danny Trejo. Oh, hang on. Did you look on IMDB? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, um... We were t thinking something here about Danny Trejo. I'd heard something, but I didn't think it was true. Me. Okay, um... Uh... 16th of May, 1944, he was born. Hmm. And... Yeah? He's five foot five and three quarters. He's smaller than me. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Someone smaller than me. <laughs> I seen something here a second ago. <laughs> Someone. Um... Maybe it was a different person I was thinking of. Uh... No, i seen something here. I just can't find it. Um... Here... No, hang on, where... This is... Uh... He was born in Echo Park in LA. Um... A child drug addict and criminal, Trejo was in and out of jail for 11 years while serving time in San Quentin. He won the lightweight and welterweight boxing titles, imprisoned for armed robbery and drug offences. And But when I click on the IMBD, DB mm -hmm. thing, I can't figure out where to find that. Uh, it's on his Oh, mini hang on, I found it. Yeah. I found it. Uh, but even with glasses, I couldn't see it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it doesn't. <laughs> um, it, uh, it, anyway, imprisoned for armed robbery and drug offences, he successf success successfully completed a 12-step rehab program that changed his life. While speaking at a Cocaine Anonymous meeting in '85, he met a young man who later called him for support. He went to meet him at what turned out to be the set of Runaway Train. Uh, Trejo was immediately offered a role as a convict extra, probably because of his tough, tattooed appearance. Also on the set um, was a screenwriter who did time with Trejo in San Quentin. Uh, remembering his boxing skills, he offered him a $320 day to train the actors for boxing match, for a boxing match. Um, then another director, I can't pronounce his name. Uh, Andre um, Konchogowski? Yeah. I've no idea. Yeah, I have no idea either. I saw him training Eric Roberts and immediately offered him a featured role as Roberts' opponent in the film. And he, Treo was su subsequently appeared in many other films, usually as a tough criminal or villain. And he is of Mexican descent. Yeah, it seems like it's uh, basically I'd heard it, someone saying that he got a role, like he, he, he um, he was like picked off the street, street kind of thing, because yeah. he had the look of a cartel dude, and that's because he was. I think the person was yeah. a little foot loose with it because he had the his, you know, the drug addict history, yeah. criminal history, um, yeah. and Mexican descent. And spun it into that when technically he yeah. might have had an, anything to do with the cartels. Yeah, li by the sounds of this, he, he could have been there's independent. There's no mention of that. Yeah, and yeah. there's no mention of him. Like when I googled it, or it was actually Bing, but whatever. All I got was he's going to be in a cartel movie, <laughs> and it's just like yeah, that's a little different. So yeah, I was yeah, just a slight bit, yeah. Just I don't want Danny Trejo angry at me, so I was gonna edit it out, but apparently we were wrong yeah. with it. Yeah. Okay. Nothing to do with cartels, but he was a child drug addict and criminal. Yeah. And it was in and out of jail for years, and accidentally ended up in a movie. <laughs> it's strange. You know, thing. He didn't. He didn't audition for a part or anything. He was just. Happened to be there and was offered a role. Mm. And that's it. Yeah. The rest is history, as they say. Uh, there, you know, the actor out of The Walking Dead. I think he played Herschel, or the yeah. other old guy, Dale. Yeah. 
one of the, I think it was one of the two. I think it was Herschel. He signed up drunk to an acting class when he was younger. If memory serves. <laughs> I remember reading about it before. He signed up drunk to an acting class. And when he was sobered off, he was like, like what the fuck was I thinking? Uh, I'll go with it. <laughs> oh, uh, whatever. I'll go with it. <laughs> oh, uh, and then he got a life in acting. That's mad. Yeah. Uh... So yeah, here uh, just to go back to the game we're forgetting about. Yeah. Um. Uh, oh, I'd sit and chat about Danny Trejo all night. <laughs> to be honest with you, because I think he's brilliant. <laughs> ah, yeah. he's a cool guy. Uh, like here's all the different like the, like the economic side of the game. Okay, well I can't see squat because the monitor is too far away from me. <laughs> Fair, fair enough. And I'm half blind. Have you so. have you full screened it? Yeah. Okay. Just have to be it's sure. It's kind of blurry as well. Uh, that could be because of the quality, either the just the general quality it's been streamed at. Do you see the gear a gear on the screen? Like when you move the mouse, do you see a gear? When I do. Yeah. I just... I don't know what you mean. Sorry, I'm a bit... Uh, there should be a way of checking the... Uh, on your end, the video quality of that you're getting. Uh, like, you know okay. when you're on YouTube... When you're on YouTube, uh, there you'll see a gear symbol and you can determine what you're getting it in. Alright, sorry. Uh, I'll just... one. Uh, I'm just having a look here myself, but I doubt I'll see an... Um, no, I don't. Okay. Basically, you might have been in a lower setting than you should be in. Okay. But yeah, basically all you're missing here is like huge lists of different things you can go buy and sell. And then a little bit ah, of flavor about okay. it. And it's like this whole like economic side to the game. Okay. So, nothing to do with here. Ooh, bounty report. In the last 24 hours, 300, uh, 338 bounties were claimed in the system, with a total value of... I need some commas here. Jesus. Sorry, do you remember um, that show Saved by the Bell? Yes. Do you remember there was a guy in it called Dustin Diamond? No. I, I, I know Saved by the Bell was a thing, and I saw some pictures recently. That's, well, the other year that jogged my memory. He the was office. Screech. Do you remember the guy Screech? In it? No. Like I like I vaguely remember some of the characters and it's just you know, generic American. It's I, I right. don't I, I, I don't remember any characters' names or anything like that. Oh, okay. I, I He's pa just passed away, that's why oh. I was um Oh Yeah. He'd no, been no, diagnosed I feel bad. with cancer. Mm. Um I remember him because I, I think I remember the show probably a little bit better than you. Mm. Um but yeah, um, he was taken to hospital uh, last month, mm. and um, he passed away. Oh, um, that's a shame. Today, I think. Mm. And it was the cause of death was uh, carcinoma. I've heard of that before. I'm not quite sure what it means, though. Uh, his um, his re representative said. In a statement, he was diagnosed with this brutal, relentless form of ma magli malignant. I can't even speak today. Oh my God! Cancer only three weeks ago. In that time, it managed to spread rapidly throughout his system. The only mercy it exhibited was its sharp and swift execution. He did not suffer. Uh, he did not have to lie submerged in pain. For that, we are grateful. Yeah. That's so sad. It is. Sorry. It, no, Miserable it's... guts here. It's just, I just he, they... saw what now. I was like, oh, did you remember it? I remember the show existing, but that's it. I'm not sure if I ever got to really see it. But that is okay. sad. It mu they must have yeah. only found it very late term. Like, damn. Yeah. <sighs> or maybe it's just one. Yeah, maybe it was, but, you know, wasn't at the start. and But it just seemed to go so rapidly. Isn't cancer normally a very, like, long-term ailment? 
I suppose it depends on the cancer. I'm I don't really know. I thought there wasn't really any cancer that kill you in a month. I don't know. May maybe by the time he had symptoms, it yeah. was too late for treatment. I, apparently, so, seemingly, or yeah. Or whatever. No, that, you know. that's a shame. It is. He was only 44. Damn. Yeah. And I'll be 30 in five years. Doesn't feel like that long at all. Uh, excuse me? Yeah? Yeah. I'll be 50 in <laughs> two. <laughs> Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So well, that's go. you. I'm talking about me oh, here. That's, yeah, that, oh, yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. I can be old as fuck, but that's all right. <laughs> exactly. I'm glad you're catching on here. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Some little girl is arising out of her bed. Ah. Yeah. So she's quite happy. Ooh. Um, there's different contacts you can get here in the game, it seems. Yeah. Uh, sorry, don't mind me going back to this, do you? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm sorry for going off track there a bit. Ah, no worries. Uh, with this guy, you can pay off local fines, hand in bounty vouchers. Ooh, vouchers! <laughs> yeah, we all like vouchers, don't we? <laughs> Two for one, yay! Uh, <laughs> claim trade dividends and intel packages. Uh, for receiving a financial award in exchange. Depends on type and quantity of items you hand in. Search and rescue. Uh, financial reward for each item recovered. Uh, combat, local combat bonds. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. Mm. Passenger lounge. Greetings, Commander Powell and I. Welcome to the station passenger lounge. We're we'll going to travel right now. Try again later. So basically, um, I guess you can sh ferry people around. Okay. Play taxi driver. Space cabbie. Mm hmm. Well, you know the song, Don't Pay the Ferryman. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh, Charon ain't gonna work for free. Or however you say his name. Yeah. I never know. It's fucking Greek. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can barely say Irish names. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely speak English. Will you go away? <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, uh, community goals are a thing in the game. Okay. Uh, community goals are collaborative efforts instigated by factions trying to achieve a specific objective through the support of independent pilots. Currently available are none. <laughs> so much for working together. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> uh, this is. I don't. I don't like parts for hire. I never have. But if. But if we must, we must. More missions wait you. Let's see if contacts take on. Oh, fuck you, too. <laughs> uh, oh, dear. So, uh... Shippy makeshift face. <laughs> Deadly. Uh... Yeah, let's... Let's keep the helm... Can it not be opaque? Oh, <laughs> uh, excellent. Okay, let's get on to the mission. Poor dude looked like he was going to be shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, at the airlock. <laughs> oh, can I get one of them? Uh, the ships. An airlock. <laughs> <laughs> For you, no. <laughs> oh, you're so mean. <laughs> <laughs> Ruining all me fun. <laughs> but, but of course. <laughs> Some little girl is getting all pets here. Oh. Uh. 
Your fella's nose is out of giant because um, the little one is on my lap. Oh, I bet. Mm -hmm. I tell you, if he makes a jump with her, <laughs> I'd be putting him in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's always trying to go in bags. <laughs> and yet I walk in the door with my handbag hanging down, you know, like not up on my shoulder. Yeah. And he's gone. He's nearly gone up the fucking chimney. But yet if there's a bag left there, he's trying to get in it. That's Nero. <laughs> he's our little fruitcake. He certainly is. Fruit not. <laughs> I remember that time, like, uh, he was actually jumped in a bag uh, with some cake road on the side. <laughs> I have that picture floating around somewhere. Oh, brilliant. There was also the time, I remember, I was in the middle of recording StarCraft Odyssey. I was on a mission where you had to help some nomads on a planet. Mm -hmm. And, um... Da -da -da -da. He's watching the game. Da -da -da -da. In the but, uh, he's precious. I had to stop and go down to the kitchen. He'd managed to get stuck yeah. in the handle of a spar bag. And it was cr I he, when I got into the kitchen, he was just pinning himself to the ground. <laughs> the floor of the kitchen. Oh, yeah, the floor of the kitchen was just covered in it. Not as a solid lake, but just like a bit of pit and sprinkle, we can sprinkle all over. It's like a light dusting. Yeah. And it just... Yeah. What do we do with him? <laughs> what do we do with him at all? Oh, I have no idea. I'm oh. kind of asking Miss A. <laughs> She's staring at me here. <laughs> she is a precious She's little thing. Little... She's singing her little song. I don't think she ever really purred much before. No. Never really a talky cat. Yeah, she was always very quiet, and then the last few years she discovered she has a voice. Mm. And all she says is wah. <laughs> so she's like that one anime <laughs> girl. Wah! <laughs> it's very cute, isn't it? Yes. going to have to get Nero a little headset. Aww. He's fascinated. <laughs> He's a precious little thing. Most of the time. Most of the time. When he's not been a tow rag. <laughs> uh. When was night is a fine thing. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh no. Wrong one. Yeah, yeah. You wanted some more combat? Gonna head to a combat zone. Good, good. Resource extraction. In this case, we're extracting resources called the cadavers of people. <laughs> Very good. Um, again, sadly, this ain't Eve Online. <laughs> uh, I know Eve. I just I, want to see. Yeah. You go. No, I was just going to say, all I want to see is things being shot at and blown up. Well, we'll be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting and the killing and the screaming and the dying. <laughs> Not psychopathic at all, eh? No! <laughs> all peace and love here. 
Yes, Mahatma Gandhi and his life giving presents. More like Mother Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Or she'll bestow some of your peace and serenity on you. <laughs> she'll, she'll do a Hillary on me, will she? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh. oh, Still kind of trying to get used to the uh, controls for this. Right. And they kind of took some training wheels off here, so it's just like, shit, am I gonna explode? <laughs> You'll be fine. A spontaneous explode, uh, ex combust, uh, spontaneous combustion is nothing to sn sneer at. You'll be grand. Walk it off. <laughs> <laughs> so my uh, organs are, you know, ruptured, but yeah, sure, I'll be fine. Like I said, it's only a flesh wound, walk it off. jeez. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Excuse me, I need to <laughs> Oh, well done. Nearly down my lungs again. Congrats. <laughs> that would not be a sound anybody needs to hear. No, not really. Because I sound like I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we, we don't need to hear you dying here. No. Uh, I'm here because pirates are here, apparently. Yeah, I don't think they're rolling around top of <laughs> No, but I am. I can see that. It's my mating dance. Forgotten some of the UI here. Uh. So, seem to hit some pirates. Hmm. Oh, that sucks. Or those pirates. Did I stop just orbiting? <laughs> I feel like I'm missing control here. Uh, flight rotation. I'm, I need mining lasers to actually do on here, so unless I can find someone to shoot, I'm just gonna leave. Okay. It's really home to find someone to shoot. 
yeah. I was hoping to find someone to shoot it to. But it's okay. I got a, a kitty cat chin to rub here. Aww. Mm. And we're really enjoying this. Apparently the enemies here could be too dangerous for me. Mm. Oh dear. Mm. Uh, resource extraction point. Popper mining spots due to high yield uh, resource uh, yield resources available. Potential for value of cargo tracks pirates to these areas, which in turn draws in bounty hunters. But uh, more, check the pirates' handbook. Bounty hunter. Uh, bounty hunters track and destroy wanted pilots in exchange for bounty vouchers, which can be redeemed through credits. Using specific scanners and tools, bounty hunters can identify outside the warrants and pursue outlaws attempting to flee by locking onto frame shipped wakes. Commanders can hand in bounty vouchers to the authority contact found in starport service menus. That's not fair. What? They get vouchers for bounties. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Ugh. I know. Um, they can hand. Uh, say again. <laughs> I was just gonna say that's awful. That's so mean. Ain't it? Bounties are lovely. Yes. <laughs> 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 Sorry. I've, I've never liked that chocolate bar. I know he into me. I huh? I try and not. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, massacre must be destroyed. Assassination. They must be taken out within a certain time frame. Okay. Ooh. Xeno hunting. <laughs> me. With nothing to me. <laughs> I'm harmless, penniless, aimless, and helpless. <laughs> Worthless. Oh dear. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just head on to our destination. Cobra Mark Tree. Oh, that sounds scary. So you wanted me to Head to Molson Dock. That doesn't seem to have worked out the way I thought it would. Uh, wrong key, wrong key. Still trying to figure this out. Yeah. Oh no, it did work. All's good, all's good. Very good. Oh, we just kick back, relax, and let the ship do do all my work for me. Sounds good to me. Oh, I need to align. There we go. Oh, 
knowledge trip to butthole. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Going oh. where no man has gone before. Oh, it feels like it's in snow vision. <laughs> <laughs> Satan ass. And back in we go. <laughs> Come on. I think I'll get used to the controls in this game, eventually. <laughs> and you will. You'll be uh, flying. <laughs> yes. For even lines thing. Because it's just point and click and all that. This is a little... Ooh, uh... Fiddly. Okay, whoever gave me a ship should have been shot. <laughs> like, seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> the guy who did, who did my exam should be fired. Remember everything that like the different features that are here. Yeah. Like I did the t a bit of tutorial earlier, but doesn't quite mean I remember the op the, the options there. Still, just need to get kind of into the swing of it. Super cruise. This is not look ominous at all. Yeah, it's con. Contacts, quest that. Access granted. Cleared for landing on docking bay 06. We've got clear for automated approach, Commander. And yeah, there's queues <laughs> to get into stations. That's sick. You can try and 
do it yourself, but it's best to let the autopilot do it. Because you can just explode your ship instead. <laughs> mission must use reward as previously discussed. Well done, Commander. You've proven that you can travel between systems and navigate the mission board. From this point on, you'll be choosing your own missions. A variety of contracts what? are available That's... throughout the galaxy that require a skilled pilot. Once again, there are training missions available to practice a variety of controls and challenges. The pilot's handbook, found in the internal interface panel, also provides a wealth of advice on most professions. I look forward to watching your progress, Commander. Make us proud. This is Theo Arcosta, signing off. And you do have to refuel here in Everton. That's cool. In EVE Online, you just don't use any fuel. You never have to worry about it. But yeah, here yeah. you do have to pay and to refuel. Right. So you can run out of fuel. But there is a player group that apparently likes to play, you know, Rescue Ranger. Yeah. Uh, they, like, if you're out of fuel, they'll, you let them know and they'll try and rescue you. Ah. That's cool. It is. So, uh... It's a bit like Breakdown Rescue. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Though it <laughs> <laughs> technically, because they're players, you never know if Breakdown Rescue is just going to pull out a Glock and cap you. <laughs> eh. Hey, you never know. <laughs> Space Gr Breakdown Rescue, we got guns. Yeah. <laughs> Space Doctors exactly. Without Borders, we got guns. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I may be a healer, but. <laughs> There is actually a meme going around, and that's actually a line from an anime. There's just this doctor with a gun in his hands. I may be a healer, but... <laughs> <laughs> and this is ready to just gun a guy. <laughs> yeah, well, considering I'd, I'd probably um, trust that doctor more than half of them. <laughs> true, true. Uh, we both had our share of shit doctors, haven't we? have indeed. I've had, well it's a minor thing, I've had this weird blister on my finger since I was a kid. Still have no idea what it is. <laughs> Ran a pass one doc, but she just did not care. Yeah. But I haven't a clue, so, and I'm not a doc. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's up doc? <laughs> Sadly, I don't have a Bugs Bunny voice. I used to be able to do bugs. Hmm. Can't anymore. <laughs> oh, that could be taken terribly. I know, I know. I, I had it said and then I was like, oh Christ. Well done. <gasps> Watch your words. Watch your words. I, I could make a reference here, but it'll creep you out too much. Yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Please don't. It's nearly time for bed. I don't need nightmares. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll I'll g say something for the f people watching to look up. You just okay. Uh, German. I'll take off my headset, but I. Oh no! Well, you could, but I'm just using a phrase. Okay. German safe sex ad, or poster maybe. 
it's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. Eh. Like, seriously. That's all I was gonna say. Okay. Uh, they'll presumably find the right one. Yeah. I think there's, they may have a few. One is like a gun in a chick's crotch. That's not the one I'm talking about. Christ. Yeah, the other one... Uh, no. Uh, here's the ship I currently have, the Sidewinder. Here's the Eagle. Go! Go! Felt by Core Dynamics. It's a good compact <laughs> combat ship with peerless maneuverability. For many independent pilots, this represents a natural progression from the Sidewinder, boasting superior cargo capacity and combat ability, in addition to a better hardpoint array. These features offset by a comparatively short jump range, however. Designed for small size landing pads. The hauler. The trader ship, the Adder. Uh, it's a small adap adaptable ship, a larger uh, cargo hold, uh, and its base jump range of 30 years makes viable choice for explorers. Then the Viper Tree. Uh, fast and maneuverable. Uh, it's a combat ship. Good bounty hunters, security forces. Funny. Yeah. Uh, Annabelle's on my lap. Mm hmm And Zen wanted to come up. Oh. But be yeah, because Annabelle's on my lap. Oh, of course. So because that wasn't happening, she decided to tear the sofa and I hunted her. Mm hmm And now she's going over trying to get into Annabelle's bed and just keeps looking back at us and looking at the bed. <laughs> As if to say, either you let me on your lap or I'm going in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> she's, oh, she's such a little, such a little bitch. Oh, she is, yeah, yeah. She's sitting right in front of it now, scratching her head. Um, the other one is just looking at her. But even if she wanted to, Miss A couldn't get in into the bed because the other one is blocking it. <laughs> she's a rip. Oh, she is. This is the <laughs> same cat, folks. Uh, Zen. This is the same cat, folks. That chased the guy down the road. Dude was on a bicycle. She was chasing after him like a dog. Striking. Trying to knock him off. It. Yeah, she was trying to hit his wheels. Apparently. Mm. Yeah. Just fucking mental little thing. Yeah. For for like she's what sixteen now. Nearly yeah, 16, she was a lot 15. younger when she chased the guy on the bike, but yeah, she I, was. Fuck, I'm sure she'll still try. She would, yeah. Uh, I remember when no I was. Better woman. <laughs> Some woman for one woman. She is. I remember when I was doing my junior search, she actually started trying to follow me to school. So cute. <laughs> Bless her. She's a lovely cat, but she's very headstrong. Oh, very much so. Very much so. And she will bully you. Oh, yeah. And she's not much for you pets. Know. Uh, oh, she is. She loves. She, she do. She likes pets. Uh, she likes pets on her own terms. <laughs> I suppose. Like I've petted she can her. She's very grumpy. Yes, I've petted her before, and she just is just like, no, I've had enough. You're still petting me. I lacerate you. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's just cat though. Yeah. Well, look at Nero. Yeah, yeah I am. <laughs> With him, he loves belly rubs. <laughs> He, he, he just fights you. In play, in play. <laughs> in Alexander play. was trying to lacerate you. And she'll like hold your hand in place and then sort of like rabbit kicking you with her back legs. It's like she's just oh, tr yeah. trying to kill you. Do you remember she used to do that to her kittens? Oh, jeez. The poor little things. They used to have the shit slapped out. Yeah. N no wonder two of them died. <laughs> Bless her. Yeah. She was a good mother, though. In yeah. fairness to her, you know, <laughs> she was a good, a good mother. She was young. Yeah. Apparently, her first litter might have been killed by a dog, so she had the yeah. distrust of Jessie when she met her. Kept trying yeah. to gouge out her eyes. Uh, eventually, she got over it. She did. Do you remember my friend had words with her? Yeah. And literally, she just stopped. I've told, um, I had to stay downstairs the other night to mind Lily, 
So I was, because uh, of her dodgy back leg, now I've just taken to carrying her up to the stairs so she can sleep in Mum's room. Um, because Mum is not sleeping on the sofa again. <laughs> and nor am I. has been crippled ever since. <laughs> three weeks ago. And I'm not sitting up all night with her either. Yeah. Uh, but uh, she, um, Mum then stayed with me all night. And she just curled up next to me, um, even when I started fluffing tissue at her to stop to get her to stop washing herself. The sound was going through me. Um, and then during it, she moved over to the armrest next to me, and I started asking her to be nice to Lily because she wasn't doing well. And she was purring, and her purr deepened for a moment. Then she looked off out the door and kept purring. Then I was like, "Mama, you got to respond. We, I need an answer." And she looks back and her power deepens again as if it's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> this, she does... I, I remember seeing an, a, an article going around that your cat recognises your voice, they just don't give a shit. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah, and it's just she like... Don't get, she, yeah. No, it was just simply... She was act, it seemed like she was actually responding to me. You yeah. Know, in her own little way. Yeah. She's very clever. Mm. She is. I mean, if you're sad or upset or unwell, she'll try and make you better. She just started like purring and yeah. snuggling into you. I remember I was talking to mom about something. I was rather annoyed about it. I can't quite remember what, and it's probably for the best. But mom is ends off to one side. Just She was in her bed. She just started purring like mad and making she dough. And she's the best. Yeah, she's a sweet tag. She's precious. Yeah. <laughs> she's a fiery old thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's even when my marriage broke up, she came up to bed with me and she used to mind me Aww. when I'd be upset. You know, she was she was like the best friend that that that, that some people would have. Yeah. You know, she just just looked after me. Yeah. She's a she very is. sweet thing. She is. She's just so good. Yeah. Do you know, ever since she came here, she was a good cat. Yeah. Do you know, a bit of a bully and <laughs> all that, but you know, so what? You know, she's very sweet and loving and and everything. She is. You know. The biggest issue with her is her love of tackling under your foot mid-step. Yeah. Or jumping up onto the duvet at 4 a.m. when you're fast asleep and digging her nails into your feet. Oh, that happened to me before. I didn't even know she was in my yeah. room. I just woke up and <laughs> she was clinging off my feet one night. Yeah. Oh, she's done that to me a few times. That's why I, I wrap my feet up in the duvet now, even though she's not in the room. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> oh. Spontaneous. The cat it's just terrible. spawns into your room to attack your feet. Yeah, I, I wouldn't put out and past her. And the reason why I call her Mama Zens is, well, beyond her having kittens, uh, we gave, like, two perished early on. Then we gave the rest away beyond one, Caesar. Caesar ended up getting run over. She saw it and Mum found her trying to wake him up. Obviously he didn't. And after that, she came rather set on me. Uh, she did. Oh. I was pretty young at the time. Uh, early secondary school, so she, I guess, decided. Well, it was actually, first year in secondary school, but yeah, she decided I was her kid. Yeah. And started trying to mother me. Sadly, my OCD was oh, terrible, she, so I couldn't. Yeah, she really. wouldn't let you out, out of her sight. Mm. She, I, I remember a few times I would go up to my room and she's there outside my door waiting. I would have yeah. to bring up a bit of cat food with me and be like throw one way and run the other next <laughs> run the other just to get get past her yeah cause she, oh, she would <laughs> she would bully yeah. her way in yeah oh she would yeah she, she was just so stuck in you that time but I remember she she was in mourning after Caesar yeah for months mm. she used to sit in the window just staring out at where it happened <sighs> poor Tang 
Yeah, she and like the minute she'd see you, that was it, she was after you then. <laughs> the minute she'd hear you or see you, she was gone to you. To just make sure that you were okay. Do you know? That's I, I didn't realise. Yeah. Uh, it reminds she, me of Jessie. Yeah. Um, she got that motherly instinct. Yeah. Uh, for, for those who don't know, I had a dog before called Jessie. A uh, Labrador setter. Um, I, we got her when I was even younger. My dog lady. Well, mum's dog, really, but... Uh, lady, anyway, perished Christmas Day back in, like, 2000. Yeah, um, Christmas Day night. Yeah. Like the night time, yeah. Yeah, I went to sleep. I had gotten my new PlayStation. I was playing Jack and Daxter. I woke up and immediately went into playing it. And mum came in to tell me late Lady had passed. Um, that fe the next February, mum came home with Jesse. So yeah. I had her since I was pretty young, and she only passed the other year now. Um, 26, 2017. Jesus. Yeah. Longer than I thought. Doesn't feel it. Four years. Uh, on the tenth. Jesus. Of this month, yeah. But she reached like sixteen. It's a venerable age. Yeah. So, um, but when she like, even though she was a, a but a pop when we got her, well, she might have been a year, but whatever. Um, she decided I was. Well, it wouldn't be hard to say that I was hers. It's just like, she was, like, some dogs will fight you for being top dog. She was happy with mum being the top dog and her being second in command. Mm -hmm. But she, I know, she took, like, a motherly position in regards to me. Yeah. Um, she, like, when it, whenever she was in the car and I'd go up to, into a store... Should be sitting up, watching, making sure I was okay. Oh yeah, never took her eyes off you. Even when she was old and sick, I she still tried a bit. I remember coming back to the car and she'd kind of just lit down, but <laughs> she was very sick and blind at that point. You can get cut her some slack. Yeah. Such a sweet thing. She was. She was the best owl girl. Yeah. Ah, oh, love the old woman. Yeah, she was the best. Can we go back to shooting and killing something now? Yes. <laughs> I'm just, I was just, I was just looking to see if they had any um, guns I could buy. Because I'm not, I'm not really happy with the two I got. They're a wound, apparently. Greetings, Commander. This is Leo, your cockpit for... Greetings, Commander. This is Jefferson, your cop. Greetings, Commander. This is Eden, your cockpit for... Greetings, Commander. This is Archer, your... Greetings, Commander. This is... Greetings, Commander. Greetings, Commander. Greetings, Commander. This is Vic. Greetings, Commander. This is Vic. Greetings, Commander. Okay, you can just change the computer's voices. Uh. Cool. Hmm. 